Oh hi guys, I didn't notice you. Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how to play Pokemon Stadium 2 with the OG cost, like custom Pokemon as we did in the old days with the red, blue, crist uh, yellow crystal, gold and silver editions. And uh, the dif difference gonna be, I had a tutorial back in the day on that, but the difference here is gonna be you're gonna have it like, it's, it's gonna be a modern switch. So you have it on your tablet or you have it on your Android phone and you can play it with custom Pokemon wherever you are. So is this not cool or what? And uh, one more thing before we before begin the video guys, did you know that Cyper in Gen 2, Pokemon Stadium 2, is the shiny is supposed to be red? Um, but with anything further guys, let's hop up straight to my desktop and I'm gonna let you know what you're gonna need for this tutorial to get it done and working. See ya. You're on my desktop right now. Before we begin the tutorial guys, we're gonna need some more things. Um, we're gonna need an Android phone or a USB Type-C, USB, normal USB cable or if you have a tablet, your Android tablet, you can go with that as well. So those, one of those, it functions with Android, with tablet or your phone. Uh, one more thing guys, we're gonna need Pokemon Crystal version, Pokemon uh, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color emulator. You're gonna need PKX, the hardness, we need Pokemon Stadium RAM. You can use one or two, it depends on what you like, but or because Pokemon Stadium is more advanced and Pokemon Crystal, uh, we're using that so we can get the maximum out of our Pokemons. Uh, numbers. Anyway, <clears throat> um, this tutorial is going to be a little bit longer than my usual, but I'm going to put like uh, timestamps where you can skip in case you know how to do things because I want to explain it in, in the cleanest and best way possible so everyone can understand and follow the tutorial, guys. The first thing is, guys, we're going to need uncompress uh, the Pokemon Crystal RAM. Yeah, here it is. We got Pokemon Crystal. Then we need um, Pokemon, right click on it and then like extract all, extract it as well. It's gonna look like this, close the window, it's probably here. And what you need to do guys is literally um, take the game, put it inside the folder and put it just like here. Now when you want to start the game, you can do double click on the emulator, um, go to video. Make it four so it gets a little bit bigger. On again, uh, options, video, and make it bigger if you want to. Um, and then I just go on open and it will detect wherever you put your game, it will protect it. Go on it and it will start the game. When you start the game, um, just play, play to guys where you can, where you get your first one and your Pokedex, then you save. Save your game in the game and when you do that guys when you save your game you're gonna get something like this I already did that so I skip those I skip those I skip those steps okay it doesn't replace it because there's nothing to replace I was only got a little bit confused here um, let's see anyways <clears throat> as I said you're gonna get the, you're gonna after you as I said show you play to the game, start the gameplay and get your po Pokemon and Pokedex. Then when you save the game, you're gonna get something like this in the folder. It's gonna call it's, uh, it's Pokemon Crystal version or like red, blue, yellow, gold, silver. You're gonna get something there, Crystal version, save file. Then you're good to go. You put it say, say, here. Then if you wanna modify your Pokemons, we uncompress this folder here, guys. Do the same thing, right click. Extract all and extract. You will get this folder here. Put it right here. And now you can. Once again, guys. You can you can you can you can do like this. Um, where is the cut? Copy control or cut. Is this next nice copy? Cut this. Just put cut on it and put it as well inside this folder so you don't because all those are don't don't you don't need we need all those in one folder here guys let's empty this so we got in one folder here so what you need to do now is literally take your save file to my c and put it in pk put it on pkx uh, windows protect your pc click more info run anyway don't worry uh, nothing crazy gonna happen 
Um, here it's going to ask you pickaxe or form automatic backups. You create a folder with name. So just click on yes and it will make a backup folder. It looks like this. And here will be, will, we will be, um, yeah, it will be created with your party. I already modified in a couple of months here, so I see Cinderquill, Chukarita, uh, Totodile, and Th Scyther. But because of the sake of the tutorial, uh, we're going to create actually another one. So to, cr to create a Pokemon guys, you just go in here, species, we see, we say Charizard. Just like that, boom. You can put whatever level you want, I go for 50. And hold item, you can give him whatever you want. Uh, Amulet coin here, just in case. Uh, make him shiny is here. Matt doesn't matter really, stats. You can do whatever you want to, attacks, you know, just like that, um, random. And when you're done with all that and you're happy, just do like that. Right click on the box and set and it will be inside here. When you're all done, you can even put in the boxes here, how many as you want. The months, just as example. And you can give him a nickname. For the sake of the tutorial, we call him Zippo, just like that. And in every change you do, you need to set it in again. Anyways, when you're all done with and happy with what you did and customized your mods, guys, you go to Files, um, exp Export Save File, and you search after the save file you have. You can see here it says GBA Caller File and Save File. You click on the save file, save, and override it, and uh, you're done. So this is the first thing, those two you don't not need anymore because already all those three we done with. And then we got this here, this one, Pokemon Stadium as well. Right thing, right click, extract. And it will be distracted. We're gonna put here. So with all this out of the way guys, now comes the little bit complicated things. Now, now is where your phone or tablet comes into the play. I'm going to use my tablet for this tutorial here. I'm going to open my game capture, um, game capture device here. All right, as I told you, you go to Play Store, guys. Oops. And we go to Search, Classic Boy, and it's going to be this one. Install. All right, and it's done installing, guys. You just press, press on Play. It's going to run like this. And it's gonna ask you for tips and whatnot. You just press OK, and then it's one is scan. You just press on scan. Choose the folders where you put all your games. I choose this folder, games rooms folder. I did one specifically. And if you go back, uh, <laughs> um, in downloads, I go back a little more. Yeah, here. Those downloads, and then I create this game rooms folder. It's my C. I select this one, and then I let him scan all them. Allow, and he gonna this program gonna scan through all the game folder, and then he will find the games that you have. Uh, and what you need to know that need to do now, guys, is as we are done with this, I'm gonna go come later with other things. So as we are done with these guys, we're going back. There we go. Um, I actually turn off now this. Uh, I'm going to turn off my uh, tablet and switch out from the emulator. Uh, from the emulator from <laughs> from from my tablet. Now with now as the USB type C comes in to play. Because now we need to put yeah Pokemon Crystal RAM and the Pokemon Crystal save file and Pokemon Stadium 2. So now as the USB type C comes in play, you put it in your computer, you put this into your phone or tablet. As you might see, oops. I don't need tiny board. As you might see, guys, uh, you need to open your tablet to act to access your internal storage. I'm gonna put this 
right here, make it a little bit bigger. So press internal, and if, you, if it doesn't pop up like it's did by, uh, just in my, in my case, guys, you go in here, you go to, uh, hold up, to, 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 to this PC, guys, and you will see it here. Jimmy's Tab S7 Plus. Uh, yeah, I'm flexing. Internal storage, and you go to Android. This is the only way how you can access actually your your thing. Is you cannot do it on the on the on the, on the tablet actually. So Android. Uh, once again, sorry. Internal storage, Android data, and now you're gonna search for the program. It's a classic boy. So you can the best thing to do is guys just go and search and write class classic. Here, classic boy, and it will find automatically. Click on the folder, go to course, and go to N64. And here inside, guys, go show more and create a folder. Let's take a new folder and name it Pokemon Crystal. Uh, Pokemon Crystal, just name it Pokemon Crystal uh, R for ROM and dot for oh, an S for save file, ROM and save file. Click enter, go inside the folder and just, oops, put it here if you want to so you can see. Then you go to inside, um, where was it? To your the folder I told you, you pick those two, those two folders, the save file and the, uh, yeah, you copy, you copy a Pokemon Crystal version, the ROM, and Pokemon Crystal version, the save file that you modified. Close this folder, go up here, and just like um, right click and paste them inside the folder. Now we back up, we back up, we back up even more, back up even more, even more. So now you go to download, guys, and you do what you want to do is you you're going to create a folder like this game, game rooms folder. Okay, actually, going to back up whole once again. This PC guys, you miss tab, storage, then you go to downloads and you create a folder, show more, new folder. Let's say um, you can do po Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium, Stadium 2 and then like dot RAM, enter put in the folder again here and we go in Pokemon Stadium 2 folder we're gonna take this and put it inside here just like that so with this out of the way guys we done with this as well because we have now our Game Boy Game Boy Crystal version RAM we have the save file and you have to put it in this specific place for this emulator exactly where I showed you with the Pokemon Crystal RAM and the save file, right? Uh, the Pokemon Stadium 2 as well in this specific place. With all that out of the way, guys, we disconnect now our, Android, our tablet uh, from the USB Type-C to USB from your computer. And uh, I'm gonna connect now. The rest now is only literally to do on your tablet. I'm gonna connect my tablet again to my capture card so I can show you what you need exactly to do. To get everything up and running so I'm gonna start capturing of course I'm gonna edit it it's gonna look better All right I'm gonna open it as well just like this um, exit dex mode so now the easy part or should I say not depends on where you, where you um, Emulator, mine is here in Game Launcher. You start your emulator, guys, as I already showed you. In case, oops, in case it doesn't, it's not here, if you see, it's a text Pokemon Stadium. And in case it's not, you can just click here, scan folder or scan files, add games, there you can add it. So in case, just scan folder. And then you can go to wherever you put your Pokemon Stadium to and it will find it. So don't worry about that. So let's see you did everything right. 
once again you go in classic boy you can now the 64 you go to pokemon stadium 2 and uh, things you're gonna need to do here guys when you you need to go to controllers scroll all the way down where you can see player one and scroll all the way down as well till you can see controller packs and you select transfer pack then you go down to transfer pack Game Boy RAM this is where you can where you choose the Game Boy RAM for me if you see this guys click just on here and as you might see you see Pokemon Crystal RS we're gonna choose the first one Pokemon Crystal version GBC for the the Game Boy Game Boy RAM is this this is the save file again click on here you go wherever you have the folder and you take this you, you stack the save so with this out of the way we're backing up backing up again and uh, we go now to core system and here guys because we don't want any glitches if you have a really high-end uh, tablet or phone, go for uh, lighter N64 accurate, light video with recommended settings, high end. This is what this do is literally um, you will have no glitches and the game will really, really look really good. And in case your device is not that not that good, you can go for medium functions for me as well. But uh, the other the others are well they're gonna have some glitching and stuff but well it does it's up to you but i recommend uh, medium or, ac or high accurate okay this out of the way guys we start the game and here where you want to back up press just you or hold up uh, just like a Button. Yeah, press this button down here, the like with the two those. You press it, you get here, and then you go to those three dots, the one, two, three dots, and in, in the left to the right, in the in the end of the right. Click on it, and you go to controller packs here, and you select player one transfer pack, and. Uh, then you should be good to go. Reset the game. And now wait. This is literally now on my on my tablet. I cannot show the tablet right now, but this is on my tablet. And if you did everything right, you can play it touch or you can connect the controller even. It will automatically map. No N64 expansion pack found. And you see, that's how you do it. AMU, this is my uh, game file. Please save at the Pokemon Center. I didn't even save at the Pokemon Center, man. And as you might see, guys, most of the emulators get the glitching and stuff and whatnot. But not with this one. This is why I choose this one here. And now if you go to... Oh, I do do the... Here, we go into this. I wonder how high the music is. Computer. You can even do two players. Normal. Anything goes. We go for my favorite little cup room. You see, there's my game cartridge. And we choose Sippo. We have the we have the purple shiny chairs out because in this. Uh, no, you can put any items you want to after and did you you one more thing guys did you know that the uh, shiny cypher shiny cypher is supposed to be red and it's supposed to be instead of Gyarados, but nobody tells you that in Pokemon, huh? Um, yes, we good. Yes here. We good Then again And we can like choose whatever Let's take Charizard instead and like boom and we good just want to show you that this really works and you see no glitching nothing it's perfect perfectly emulated clean and uh, that's what it's supposed to do i want to put like the quality yes i'm a girl don't be like that um we go for all right boom. 
And there you go, guys. Look at the shiny cypher, it's red. And there you have your <laughs> purple cherry zard, or I don't know what color it is. Um, boom. And check the moves. Lies, true speed, belly drum, and leech life. New meta, guys, you better believe. Overpowered. Um, we're not gonna win against him, obviously not. I'm gonna try to. Crunch, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Yes guys, this was tutorial, um, like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below. Um, as I said, like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, uh, leave a comment in the section below, let me know what you think, and uh, as a, a sub would be always appreciated. My goal is this year to get to 1000 subscribers at least, and uh, yeah, there will be part 2 guys where we're, gonna, where we're gonna actually take those mons and put them actually in to Pokemon Home. Literally those mods that you see right now, we're gonna put them in Pokemon Home and all that is emulation. There's no physical cartridge, I don't have any. All our emulations digital and are we gonna put them into physical games? How? Well, you're gonna know in the next in the next episode. But as I said guys, I'm gonna get take out of you. Have yourself a good day, Amores. Keep it cool, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. Hey, I'm freaking out of here. Peace.